Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. I am so excited to film this video. This is going to be my lip product usage and progress video for spring of 2023. I have only filmed one of these videos previously. It was the one for winter. It has been one of my favorite videos to film this year, if not the favorite. So in these videos I will share with you the uses and progress with my lip product collection each season. For spring I do count March, April and May. I am now filming in the beginning of June but the uses in June are already calculated towards summer. But yeah, I did finish in spring one lip product. I'm going to talk about that more once we get to it in the uses. I didn't declutter any. I didn't purchase any new lip products in spring. However, I had previously decluttered two lip liners that I decided to take back. So when we started spring, I had five lip liners, but I added two decluttered ones, so now I do have seven. Tinted lip balm is something that I had one when we started spring, now I have zero. So spoiler there, the lip product I was able to finish it was a tinted lip balm. In fact, you have seen that if you have watched my 23 and 2023 updates, but yeah, now I don't have any tinted lip balms in my collection. Uh, lip glosses, I have five, lipsticks 13 and liquid lipsticks four, and those three categories have remained the same throughout the spring season. So yeah, there's some overall numbers, and now that we got those out of the way, let's actually get into the uses with my lipsticks. In these videos I want to go through my collection in order of what I used the most to what I used the least. And I got to say in spring the theme totally was project pants. I have been really kind of like hyper focused on my project pants when it comes to lip products, but it has been okay for me. Now I'm starting to notice that I'm maybe a little bit sick of wearing just the project pan lip products. But in spring I was quite busy with my studies, I really didn't have time to think about makeup and it was really easy for me to wear the same thing almost every single day, so it was okay for me. I do have this time only three lip products where there is actually more than 10 uses. And the lip product I used the most during spring season is actually a lip liner. So this is the Gosh Velvet Touch Lip Liner in the set Nougat Crisp. I am wearing this lip liner today. This one I used 38 times, so that is a lot of uses. And you can also see that I have made pretty good progress with this lip liner. This lip liner is in my 23 in 2023, so I'm trying to finish it this year and it is like a little bit deeper pinky nude lip liner. And the lip product I have worn the most after that lip liner is a liquid lipstick and this one I am also wearing today. I always wear these together but I also wore the lip liner a couple of times with something else. But the lipstick is the, the Balm Mid Matte Hues liquid lipstick in the set Committed and this one also is in my 23 in 2023. This lipstick I wore 36 times during spring season. I got to say, I'm starting to be maybe a little bit bored of this color. It is a pretty color. It is this kind of like rosy, nudish sort of shade. Really pretty. I think it suits me pretty well. I think it goes well during spring season, but I'm starting to notice that maybe I want to wear some other <laughs> lip products too, because I have been so focused on it. But yeah, I'm trying to finish this one and actually with this my goal would be to get it done during summertime. Then let's talk about the empty. So I was able to finish my Catherine's Powerful 5 lip care in the shade Charming Rose. So yeah, this one is all flat. There is enough product for me to take the swatch picture and I probably could dig it for, from there to get a couple of more applications still, but I don't care to do that. But the swatch picture I will still take. I have not taken them yet, but yeah, this one was a really pale 
kind of like pinkish sheer tinted lip balm. Not my favorite to be honest because it was so pale I often felt it kind of washes me out. It took 20 uses for me to finish this one in spring. I did use this I think even more in winter and then in March I was really really focusing on this. When I finished this I started using the balm lipstick more. But yeah, happy to have another lip product out of my collection. Okay, so those were the three lip products that I was really focusing on during springtime and they were all kind of like easy everyday products for me to wear in spring. And uh, yeah, let's move on to products that I used from 5 to 10 times. There is four products like that. So first is a lip liner. This is the Gosh Velvet Touch Lip Liner in the set Nougat. This is like a brownish nude lip liner and this one I used seven times. This is actually one of the two lip liners that I took back that I decided to declutter previously. I do also have the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the set Iconic Nude, which is another brownish nude, but that one has a little bit depth in it. And I actually do prefer the color of that, so that's why I thought in the end of last year that I don't need this one anymore into my collection. But, you know, it is still a beautiful color that works for me, so I decided I will take it back and just use it up. All right, and then we do have a lipstick that I used seven times. So this one is from Essence. It is their Cool Collagen Plumping Lipstick in the shade My Mind. And this is like a pinkish sheer lipstick. The formula of this one is actually what I would like a tinted lip balm to be. It's really comfortable to wear. It doesn't wear too well, but that's not something I would expect from a lipstick like this or from a tinted lip balm. This is also something I put to my minimalist makeup bag, which by the way I am doing now. I have been doing it for three weeks now that I'm filming, so I put there five different lip product options to wear and this is one of them. This is something really easy for a quick everyday makeup looks and especially to no makeup makeup looks. Okay, so next is the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Lipstick in the set Nude Kate. This is like a brownish yellowish nude. This is another lip product that is in my 23 in 2023 project pan and this one I have worn six times during springtime. Typically spring is not the season when I would be into a nude this brownish and yellow. Anyways, I don't think it's my favorite nude because it's so so yellow. I have worn it a couple of times still because it is in the project and sometimes I have just done a makeup look that I felt this one is the best option with and this one also is in my minimalist makeup pack and then we do have here another lip liner this one is the bh cosmetics waterproof lip liner in the set earthy and i have used it five times i'm actually surprised i used it that many times because i don't really wear this right now because this is quite close to the gosh lip liner that i'm actually panning this one is just a little bit lighter and maybe slightly warmer. This one actually I think works the best with my peachy lip products. So maybe that is why I have gotten that many uses out of it. Okay, so let's move on to a little bit lower numbers. Let's talk about the lip products I used from two to four times. Next is a lip liner I already mentioned. So this one is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Iconic Nude. This one I used four times in spring. Now that we are talking about lip products that I used less than five times, I didn't bother making new progress lines anymore. Then let's talk about another lip liner. This one is the Gosh Velvet Touch Lip Liner in the set Simply Red. And this one is like a brighter red lip liner. This one is one of the two lip liners that I decided to declutter when the year changed and I decided now to take it back. The reason I originally decided to declutter this is that I do have another red lip liner that is just a little bit deeper than this and it works with all of my red lipsticks so I didn't feel a need to have another one. However, this one is still a beautiful lip liner that works especially with my kind of like classic red lipstick 
so I just decided to take it back. It's something I will eventually get through unless it really dries out before that. But yeah, this one I did wear three times in spring. Red lipstick look, as you know if you have watched my videos, is my favorite makeup look ever. But it's not something I do just if I am home. Okay, then we do have here a lipstick. This one is the Essence Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Peach It. And this one is like a light, quite bright peachy lipstick. This is pretty new to my collection. I purchased this one in winter, but in total I wore this one three times during the spring season. This totally is something that I would have worn it way more if I wasn't so focused on my Project Pan lip products. Okay, then another lipstick I wore three times in spring is my NYX matte lipstick in the shade Perfect Red. So this one is a beautiful blue-based classic red. I do love this because it has a little bit depth in it so that it's not too bright. I don't necessarily like a red that is just super bright to your face, but this one is a really classic red. Okay, then we do have another little bit newer lipstick into my collection. This one is from Catrice. It's their Scandalous Matte lipstick in the shade Rosy Seduction. And this one is an interesting shade. For me, it, it appears to be kind of like a little bit more on the corally side, but not super bright bam to your face coral, but more like a muted rosy coral. This is a beautiful lipstick. I do really enjoy this formula. I would totally think this is something way more expensive, but it's only like a five euro catrice lipstick. It's such a comfortable, such a nice formula to wear. And uh, yeah, this one I wore twice in springtime. And then another lipstick I wore twice in spring is the Memi Luxe lipstick in the set You Wish. And this one is a beautiful peachy nude. I really do love the color of this one. Although it's peachy, it's not like at all too bright and peachy, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful peachy nude. And uh, it would be like my perfect peach nude for spring. I would totally have worn it more if I wasn't so focused on Project Pan lip products again. Okay, and then let's move on to lip products that I used one during spring season. There's actually five of them. And the first one is the Fenty Gloss Bomb lip gloss. And this one is in the shade Fuzzy. So this one is like a warmer pinky lip gloss that is kind of sheer but has shimmer to it. This one is newer to my collection. I purchased it last fall. Yes, last fall, although it was like eight months ago. It's still new in my collection because I buy makeup quite rarely nowadays. I used it once. The weight didn't go down. I forgot to mention when I was talking about tag the balm liquid lipstick that I'm wearing today, that that is the only dip in lip product where the weight went down. Another lip gloss I wore once during spring season is the Floss, my new favorite lip gloss in the set LAX. This one is a beautiful pinky nude lip gloss. It doesn't have any shimmer to it, but it has a beautiful glossy finish and a lot of pigment to it. So I really do enjoy this lip gloss, but Another one of those things that I didn't wear that much because of my project pants. Then I do have here another Catrice Scandalous Matte Lipstick. This one is in the set Nude Obsession. And this one is like a brownish nude, really beautiful nude. Not necessarily my favorite tone of nude for this time of the year. Typically this kind of nude I would be more into during fall and maybe early winter. But spring time is maybe something when I would want to wear more like a pinky nude or peachy nude. Either way, this one is a beautiful color and as I said when I was talking about the another shade, a beautiful, beautiful finish. It's really nice, although it says matte, it doesn't feel trying at all and I would say it's more like a demi-matte or satin matte. Another kind of similar shade to that nude is this one. This is the Essence Hydra Matte Lipstick in the set Honey is Lee and this one is 
another brownie nude, maybe a little bit deeper than the Catrice Scandalous Matte one. And this one also is more matte. I actually do prefer the formula of the Catrice lipstick. Okay, then the last lip product I used once in spring is the Inglot and JLo lipstick in the shade mauve. I actually don't think the color is that mauve, but it is like a cooler tone nude and it's really really matte. So this type of lip product is something I would enjoy more in winter time. Okay, then the last category is lip products that I didn't wear at all in spring. In winter, I think there was maybe five or so lip products I didn't wear at all. Now there is way more. Some lip products that I was focusing on are similar to the ones that I didn't wear. And then some are just simply not colors that I would wear in spring season. There's a couple of lip liners. First is the Gosh Velvet Touch lip liner in the shade Cardinal Red. This one is the little bit deeper lip liner I was talking about. So each time that I wore a red lipstick look in spring, I wore it with the another lip liner. So that's why I didn't wear this one. And the another lip liner I didn't wear in spring is the Gosh Velvet Touch lip liner in Rising. This one is like a brownish lip liner and I have not worn a lipstick. This one would match 10. Three of my lip glosses I didn't wear in spring. First one is the Gimme Glow Cosmetics Vivid Lip Paint in the set Liquid Kitty. This one is another one of those cooler toned, almost like taupey nudes. And I really do like this lip gloss, but it's a nude that I would prefer really in winter. It's totally something I could wear also in spring, but I was focusing on other things. Then another lip gloss I didn't wear in spring is actually probably my favorite lip gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the set Madeleine. This one is kind of like a brownish beige lip gloss. I think from all of my lip products, this is the one that would go truly with any makeup look because it's just so neutral and I really do enjoy the NYX butter gloss formula. Then the last lip gloss I didn't wear is the Balm Pretty Smart lip gloss and this one is in the set Girl. This one to be completely honest is not my favorite anymore. I feel the color is maybe a little bit cooler what I would prefer and also this one has a really sweet kind of like unpleasant scent to it. It's not expired or anything the product just smells like that but the scent kind of keeps lingering around so it's not my favorite so so to be completely honest, I am considering decluttering this, but I th think before I do, I need to still kind of like give it a go. It's not my favorite anymore, although it used to be back in the days. This is something I have repurchased, but there is a time and a place for makeup products. And I noticed that a lot of my old favorites are not favorites anymore. And this is one of those products. Then the lipsticks I wore zero times in spring. First is the Catrice Shine Bomb lipstick in the set Divine Femininity. This one in color is pretty similar to the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. It's just a really different formula, but since the color colors are so close, I didn't want to wear this. And uh, same goes to this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Lipstick in the set Pillow Talk. This one is actually pretty close both in formula and in color to what I'm wearing today. Maybe the color of Pillow Talk is a little bit more muted, but they are both matte. And then there is the NYX matte lipstick in Alabama. This one is a little bit deeper and warmer, kind of like brick red shade. And while I think this is a beautiful lipstick for fall and winter, Spring is not at all a season I would go for this kind of red. I would rather go for my blue based red in spring. And then this one is more like a lip crayon, but the formula is like more traditional. This one is the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream and it is in the set Covet. The color is really interesting. It is this metallic burgundy shade. This is my only truly vampy lip color. 
and there is a reason I don't really have these anymore in my collection because I don't wear them. Like I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing something like this out of my house and this is something I am considering decluttering. You know I think it has been almost two years since I have worn this so at least if this year I don't wear it at all then it's time for it to go because I don't want to have makeup in my collection that I like how it looks but I just never wear it. And then last I do have here three Lego lipsticks that I didn't wear in spring. The KVD Everlasting Lego Lipstick in the set Lolita 2. This one is a really autumnal color for me, so not something I would wear in spring. Then the Ofra Long Lasting Lego Lipstick in the set Las Olas. This one is quite a dark brown. And it's not necessarily my favorite color. I feel a brown like this is a little bit more challenging, but maybe I want to see if I wear it in fall. However, if I don't end up wearing this lipstick this year, it's the same thing than with the NYX Vampy lipstick, then it needs to go. Because I don't want to have something that I just don't feel comfortable wearing. And then the last liquid lipstick I didn't wear is the Balm Midmat Hughes liquid lipstick in the set Charming. This one is sort of similar than the Comedian one that I'm panning and wearing today, but this one is just deeper. I actually do really like this. I think the balm describes this one as rich mauve and I do really like this because this one has a little bit more warmth to it and it's not too cool toned. So this is kind of like if I want to go for something purpley, this is what I will wear because I don't think like a true purple really or very suits me at all, but this one works. But also this is not necessarily a color that I would really enjoy in spring because it is a little bit darker in tone. Okay, so that was everything. Those were all of my uses and my progress with my lip products in spring. So let's talk about summer a little bit. I do have a goal of finishing this lipstick I mentioned it already, I want to finish my liquid lipstick in the 23 in 2023 project pan and I think I can do it because it already starts to be a little bit drier when I pull the applicator from the tube. I wouldn't say it's impossible to finish the Charlotte Tilbury nude Kate lipstick, but it's not really a goal. I would rather maybe spread the usage now a little bit more in summertime, wear different colors and not have that many lipsticks with zero uses. But yeah, that is really everything for today. I know this was a super long video, so thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one. Bye bye.